A familiar journey. Gayburn's funeral cortege left his home in Hoth shortly after 11am to travel along the coast road into Dublin city. A journey he took every morning when he was presenting his daily radio show. At St Mary's Pro Cathedral, former colleagues from RTE and the wider world of entertainment gathered to say goodbye, alongside former presidents, Tishuk Leo Varadkar and President Michael D. Higgins. Gay's daughter Susie O'Byrne thanked those who had cared for her father during his illness, everyone from the doctors to the catering staff at the Matter Hospital. The catering ladies who looked after her dad endlessly, not as Gay Byrne, but as I was reminded firmly on a number of occasions, he was a dub and one of our own. She then quoted Brendan Kennelly's words about her father. You gave us words, ideas, music, song. Often you made us laugh out loud and long. Gay Byrne's beloved grandchildren had a central role in the ceremony. While music at the funeral mass was provided by the Palestrina Choir. Former Director General of RTE Bob Collins said Gay Byrne had given a voice to people who had not been heard before. He listens with a quality of attention that women and men become able to tell their stories, to say things that have gone unspoken for long years, to rise above their fears, to share their concerns, to tell the truth. Following the funeral mass, Gayburn's remains were taken from the pro-cathedral to sustained applause from those who had gathered outside. Sinead Crowley, RTE News.